Disney has not been having a very good year. It's been pretty hard for the House of Mouse. A lot of movies not performing very well. A lot of actors tied to a lot of their projects not (laughs) acting very well in front of the camera. Saying pretty ridiculous things. Getting the public turning against them. Theme parks not performing very well, which I would argue has a lot to do with the fact that their movies don't perform very well anymore. I I think the theme parks need the entertainment side to do well because it makes people want to become immersed in Disney magic. That's why people went to the parks. They go there to be immersed in Disney. And what reason would you want to go be immersed in Disney if the brand itself is just done? So. Stock market speaks for itself. This thing is getting dangerously close to 70. Two months ago, they were struggling to stay at 90. Now they're struggling to stay at 80. One thing that might have helped them, though, is if they had actually went with the actress that almost won the Snow White job. Apparently, Rachel Ziegler was not their first choice originally. They had somebody else that they planned on picking for the role. Apparently, Renata Vaca is who was originally almost going to win the role. They decided not to go with her. I actually think she looks much better. She would have been a better pick, but that's not who they went with. They went with Rachel Ziegler, and they're paying for it now. It's almost like, well, who's, who's more controversial? Let's go with Rachel. Uh, Those controversial bucks aren't doing very well for Disney anymore. Uh, Their armor has really cracked. Uh, I don't think they're quite immune to things like they they used to think they were. Uh, But I I looked into her a little bit. I mean, just looking her up, right? Not even a lot popping out on her uh, where you don't have the same thing with Rachel Ziegler. I think that she probably would have been better. A lot less controversial, at least in the things that she says. Uh, Rachel Ziegler has said a lot of controversial things. She's spent a lot of time trashing the old Disney movie, which people don't appreciate. People don't like that at all. In fact, it turns a lot of people off. And when you do that, yeah, you really do run the risk of turning off the built-in fan base for something that you want to come watch it, okay? When you remake Snow White, you have a built-in audience of people that love that movie, love that franchise, that are going to come see it. Knocking it, calling it outdated, calling it sexist, calling the prince a creepy weirdo, uh, those things turn off, they turn off The fans, when you make drastic changes like Snow White and the Seven Bandits, which is what they're going with. Apparently, the prince is a bandit now. He's not a a prince. He's going to be one of those seven bandits. I don't know if the picture's in here or not. It's not. Uh, But I'm sure all of you know what I'm talking about. You've seen it. You've seen it now. There's those seven seven magical creatures, which are not going with anymore. Seven bandits. So it's... It's a little rebellion fighting against the queen now that she apparently is going to join. And I would imagine there'll be a love story between her and the leader of the seven bandits. So that's what they're going to do now. And it's not going to work. This movie is going to be a spectacular wreck. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fizzle out fast at the box office, just like Little Mermaid did. Because you're taking these old properties that people love and changing them at their core. It's not the same thing anymore. You shouldn't even call this Snow White. But Disney going to do what Disney does. Lose tons of money again in a movie. And yet another reason why their stock is going into the shitter. Because they think that they can just do whatever they want and no one will care. Well, people do care. This is why you're getting sued by your investors, too, by the way. Big lawsuit. Getting sued for misleading investors, lying, uh, 
allegations of insider trading, which I find very interesting. I can't wait. I can't wait for that lawsuit to hit so we can get all the stuff from Discovery. Uh, Will Disney even take it that far or will they settle? Very interesting stuff going on there. I can't wait to find out the story of investors versus Disney. Uh, They have a lot to be upset about. If you're an investor with Disney, I don't know how you're not pissed. Uh, You should be furious because this company should be easy money. Should be easy money. (laughs) But they're almost going out of their way to tank the company. It's crazy. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters So you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.